So good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Styles Machinery East showroom, uh, where we'll focus our attention this morning on this N600 flat table five axis automated CNC machining center here. So the, the goal of what we're going to do here with you today uh, within this portion of the manufacturing solutions series is focus a little bit on what's new with home ag and style CNC. Not only what's new, but also a focus on what's different. And of course, what benefit or what does it mean for you? So this particular machine here, if we start talking about flat table CNC with five axis technology, I would say it's been a little bit of an outlier technology in the market for many years. Uh, as manufacturers of the equipment, we've been trying to, you know, kind of struggling to find, is there really a market for it? Does it matter? And, you know, for, for many, many years, the answer was no. And over the past three, maybe four or five years, there is a market segment that has emerged within nesting that kind of leads us into hey, a portion of my business is traditional nesting. I need volume. I need cleanliness. And 80% of my day is that, that high volume nested approach. But the other 20% of my day is, um, let's say, architectural millwork or door detailing or things where that five axis technology really does bring some benefit. And we're starting to see that kind of take 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 a foothold in the market and customers look for, right, high speed nesting with the ability to use some of that intricate five axis type work or, or detail work without aggregates. And that's what we're seeing here with this machine. So five axis technology, and if we kind of pan over off to the left side, when we say, what is a nested machine with automation, right? The goal of automation on the nesting machine is to, in effect, uh, get the finished parts out on an outfeed table like we see here off to my left and your right. The parts are ejected from the machine automatically. And while that um, work is being done on the outfeed table, the unloading, the sorting, the dust collection, potentially labeling parts, the machine receives the next sheet and is back in the cut, right? So your your operator becomes a parts catcher, not so much a loader of the machine and unloading of parts and carting while the machine sit idle but not broken, right? So on the other side of that, when we're dealing with the flat table machine and we're wanting to do some five axis, if you walk down this way with me a little bit, it's, okay, so how do I work the machine when I'm not working with full sheets, right? And there are some technologies in this machine that help us do that. If we kind of can zoom in on the machine screen here, uh, you have the ability to work this machine with pods. You also have the ability to fix your parts on the spoil board. So what you see there is a 24 zone uh, matrix table. And the program that we just ran is a four by eight sheet. Uh, those three, six, nine, 12 zones were automatically opened by the machine control. So all of our vacuum is concentrated to a four foot by eight foot sheet. Let's say, for example, the next part is uh, solid wood clock face or something of, of, that, of that manner. Small vacuum zone, we would call that program up. We could reference to, let's say, the front left corner of the machine and only vacuum zone number one will open up, allowing all of that vacuum to concentrate to that one zone. So if you kind of look at this technology as a blend between, you know, all of the technology that's taken place with automated or through feed nesting, right? This machine can also be equipped with a scissor lift on the front end to automatically load sheets uh, one by one or two by two through the machine. And also pairing that technology with um, fixture free type automation to allow the machine to hold smaller, smaller parts on the spoil board without requiring, uh, you know, minutes or even 20 or 30 minutes per setup for fixturing parts on the machine. So what do I want you to take away with this? It is possible, right? High volume through feed type nesting, as well as five axis detail type solid wood work. Um, and this N600 machine here is set up for that 80-20 rule, 80% high volume nesting, 20% five axis uh, detail work.